Today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, incising and applique. Uh, students get really confused on this about what it is. When people think of incising, they think they can just do this. That is not incising. That is just drawing with your needle tool. That is a big negative no. I want you to carve into the clay is what we're looking at, not just uh, drawing with your needle tool. I have a couple of pieces here I'm gonna use as demonstration pieces that I made. And these ones I'm gonna do, and this one here I'm gonna do some incising. On this project here, I'm gonna do applique. I might do a little combination of both, but I'll give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about when I want you to carve into the clay. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is applique, in, incising on this one here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some simple geometric patterns and uh, carve them in with some ribbon tools and add some of these, uh, this part right here, the back of the Sharpie marker, to add a little more design to it as well. So first, what I do is with my, with my uh, spinning tables, which I have underneath there, I'm gonna give myself a couple lines to go from. So I kind of know where I'm carving my lines. So I'm doing geometric patterns. It's gonna have a rough idea where my lines are gonna be. So when I carve them in, they kind of stand out a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna put my lines in here. Now what I'm gonna do is every other one, I'm going to draw some lines. Now, it goes beyond, like I said, just the needle tool, but for right now, I'm just kind of laying out what my design's gonna look like. What I'm doing here is I'm separating in halves my pattern as best I can. And then what I can do here on the bottom half, I'm gonna go ahead, go from the bottom here, I'll split it one more time, so I'll probably carve it in with my epic, with incising one more time down here. So this gives me, an idea that gives me a little bit of design pattern there. Some kids think, yep, I'm done, but no you're not. You gotta come in and do a little more carving in here. So I'm gonna use this ribbon tool right here. I'm going to use the hook part here to come in here between these lines and really carve them in. I'm not going super deep. I'm just making the line wide so it stands out. Stopping right about there. When I draw these lines down, I try to make sure I draw with my whole hand. I follow along the pattern what I'm trying to make here. Now, when I'm doing this design, I'm not expecting to look at 36 of these. This is just an idea suggestion for what you can do. Gives you a rough idea what the pattern looks like here. Now, one thing I will do is I'll kind of go through, clean this up a little bit, and then I can go back over with a sponge and kind of smooth those seams I carved in. Kind of smooth the edges a little bit. Last thing I'm gonna do is you can, you can press things also in the clay as well. I'm gonna use the back of, this, back of this Sharpie and you get a really cool, simple pattern without having to do a whole lot of work. And it works as a way for incising as well. If you want to do something like this, that's great. Bring in some of your own pins. Find some stuff around your house that you can use for pressing into the clay to give it some designs. Experiment a little bit. Just don't go, hey, Mr. Eager, can I borrow yours? Because you're seeing what I'm doing with mine. These are mine. Get your own. And that gives you kind of a quick idea for incising. All right, so now we're doing applique on this one. This is where we're adding clay onto the surface. You can just add balls of clay on there, but we gotta make sure the clay doesn't get too thick. So one thing you can do is, you can use these rolling sticks, the red ones, a rolling pin, and you roll out some clay in between the two pieces. So I have my slab here, it's nice and thin. If you put clay that's too thick on there, it's more likely gonna fall off. I made a little template here out of some paper, so I can repeat the same kind of design over and over again. All I do is put it on my clay, and all I'm gonna do is I trace around it to get the shape I want, and I can repeat that same shape over and over again. There's a few of them there, and all I, once I've done that, I take my needle tool, go around and trace them. Right? You have to, you do have to score and slip these on. Because if you don't score and slip them on, they will fall off. And then you'll have a bunch of pieces everywhere. So I just flip it over because the base is a little bit secure this way. And what I do is I'm going to add these along my piece like this is what I'm going to do. So all I do is I score them. Take some slip.
apply them on there. Now, one thing you do gotta do to these is you gotta give them some very different textures. You can see it doesn't stand out from the rest of the piece, almost blends in. So what I can really do is to make it kind of quick. If I wanna make it look like a leaf, it's really easy to do. All I do is, and this also presses them on really well too. I just take my cleanup tool, I kind of press into them a little bit. That way I'm making sure it does not fall off my piece. And clean them up, get a nice little edge, stuff like that. If I want to make it more into a leaf, I can add some more designs to them. I usually don't want to do these marks as I'm working on the piece because, well, it helps by having a way to press into the piece, uh, press into the clay. So it stays on, it won't come off as easily. You can smooth around the edges, but if it's not pressed on really well, it might just fall off. Again, as I said with incising, I'm not expecting you guys to replicate what I'm doing or copy mimic what I'm doing, but just gives you ideas of how to do applique and incising. As we can see here, this is definitely applique. If I really want to, I mean, this is a demonstration piece, I could take this design and go all the way down my piece if I want to. Gives a look of a little bit of leaves on there. Again, I cover it the sponge. Can just smooth it over. And I have a little applique design on there. Kind of makes it stand out a little bit different. And now you know what applique and incising look like. Here's an example of applique. Here's an example of incising.